marriages matter. They matter to God, they matter to, to one another, they matter to our kids, they matter to society. I mean, it's just again and again, it, you know, marriage does matter. A lot of uh, people kind of don't realize how much work it is. It's just something constant. And if they go in prepared, knowing that there are going to be some things they're going to need to work through, some challenges, it's going to just strengthen their relationship and commitment to each other that much more if they do that before their wedding day. It's really about the marriage. The wedding is just one day. It's a fantastic day, but the marriage is what comes after. Having a pre-marriage ministry in the church helps because you don't feel like you're entering into it with these lofty ideas, uh, things, wrong expectations. You're entering into it at least with um, some tools, uh, some questions that can help you as you continue in marriage. When you get paired with a mentor couple, they've been in the exact same spot you, that you've been in, um, so you can take comfort in that. The course really brought out different strengths and weaknesses in a relationship, and so it was great to have a couple there that we can discuss those different topics with and that they could encourage us in areas where we could grow in. They are able to say, you know, we've been down this road and we've experienced these things and here's what to expect and just Hearing that from a wise couple that has been married and you know isn't our parents or someone we've known previously, um, that was very helpful to us. A little is required other than a willingness to share your time and what you've learned. You need to be a bit vulnerable too. Mm -hmm. They were very welcoming to have us in their home, and so it was really easy right off the bat uh, to just have that open conversation with them. They made it known up front that we could be open with them and be vulnerable, and um, they really created a very comfortable and like, an honest atmosphere. We're just here to you know, share our lives and our stories and where we've grown and where we could still grow. You know, if we've gone through it, we're happy to share. And if we've known someone who has, you know, we're happy to help and we'll try to help. That's what we're there for, it's just a resource. You don't have to try to pretend to be something more than you are, but when you're honest and you actually share what life is like as a Christian couple, um, then it, I believe it gives a greater hope. You know, this is what it looks like day to day to care for your spouse and to do life together. Marriage is much bigger than just the two of you. It's not about our happiness or if we love each other, it's about that commitment and being willing to work on a relationship. We make our goal to be honoring to God and you know, paying a reflection of Him and His relationship with the church. You stop seeing yourselves at the center and you start to see something bigger. You really see that the way you treat your spouse ultimately is a reflection of your relationship with God. And if we start to look at it that way, then it does make the little things matter. I can't think of another situation on earth that could as accurately portray the selflessness of Christ loving the church and laying his life down. And that to me is uh, an honor and just a huge privilege and responsibility. If we can show some unconditional love and then give him the glory for it, I'm down. <laughs>